All right, once again, we're going to get started with the second uh, outside portion of this pre-trip. Uh, you guys bear with me because I'm juggling a stick, a pen, a clipboard, and this camera. So we're going to try to all make it work, and hopefully I don't drop nothing, especially my phone. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and unlatch the hood on both sides. All right. Now, let's take a look at our list. First thing I'm going to work on my list, I'm, I'm going to go a little bit out of order, and I'm going to catch all of my lights out here too, because you do have to describe the lights on the outside. We checked them to make sure they were working, but now we got to make sure they're there. So up in the corner of the trailer, that is a trailer clearance light. Right over here, that is a tractor clearance light. The three lights in the middle are identification lights or ID lights. Then we have a turn signal here and a turn signal there. We put them all together because they're amber in color. They're not chipped, cracked, or broken. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. And I see no signs of condensation. Then I'm going to come right over here to my headlight. Headlight is not chipped, cracked, or broken. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Uh, it's clear in color, and I see no signs of condensation. Then after that, I do something that I call uh, acronym for COPS. Coolant, oil, power, steering fluid. And all I do is I say, I hear and see no leaks for coolant oil and power steering fluid. All right. Now, we've done all of that. We've done our lenses on this side. If you look on the list, right there it has lenses. The next thing we're going to do is fluid level. All right. And we're going to do fluid levels. We're going to do fluid and air leaks together. All right. So we're going to do all of that together. Let's go ahead and open up the truck. All right, y'all bear with me while I get everything working here. All right. So, we are on the passenger side of the truck. That's where we're going to start. All right. I'm going to start with my windshield washer fluid reservoir. Uh, again, this falls under fluid levels and any types of leaks. All right. So, my windshield washer fluid level uh, reservoir is not bent, broken, or cracked, or missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It's filled to the proper level. If it wasn't, I would remove the cap and fill it to the proper level, and I hear and see no leaks. Then I'm going to catch all the hoses on this side. So just do a circular motion with your stick. Say all my hoses are not cut, frayed, dry, rotted, or bulging, and I hear and see no leaks. We're all done on this side. We come over to the other side of the engine, and I'm going to continue with my hoses because I, I got hoses on this side. So I'm just going to make a big circular motion. Say all my hoses are not cut, frayed, dry, rotted, or bulging. And I hear and see no leaks. Then I'm going to come up here. This is my coolant reservoir. It's not bent, broken, or cracked. I'm missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It's filled to the proper level. If it wasn't, I would wait for the engine to cool, remove the cap, fill it to the proper level. And I hear and see no leaks. Then I'll come down here to my oil dipstick and my oil fill tube. They're both not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. To check the oil level, I pull out the dipstick, wipe it off, put it back in, pull it out, and check the level. If the level's good, I'm done. If it's not, I will put it, reinsert it, add it, uh, oil to the fill cap, and then recheck it again. All right. Then we're going to come down here to my power steering fluid reservoir. It's not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It's filled to the proper level. If it wasn't, I would remove the cap and fill it to the proper level, and I hear and see no leaks. All right, so that is all of my... We're going to check off a couple of things here. Lenses and fluid levels. And I also cover fluid and air leaks. Next up on the list is the steering system. So you don't have to call out any parts, you just have to point it out. So, follow my stick. This is my steering system. That's, it starts there, it comes on down, all the way down. Follow this all the way back to right there. That's my steering system. It's not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws, and I hear and see no leaks. All right, we're all done with that. I'm going to check that off. 
All right, steering system, check. All right, next up. Now, you can go to your, as it shows you here, your tires and your rims. I'm just going to stay on the inside right now and do my uh, suspension and then go to my brakes. So see right here, I'm going to do where it says uh, suspension mounts um, and shocks. I don't have any airbags up here. And then I'm going to do my brake lines, hoses, leaks, and any brake contaminants. All right, so let's start. This is my suspension. This is my front spring mount. Back here is my rear spring mount and I'm gonna put my these U-bolts together with them. They're all not bent, broken, or cracked. I'm missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Then this is my shock absorber. It's not bent, broken, or cracked. I'm missing nuts, bolts, or screws. I hear and see no leaks. This is my leaf spring. It's not bent, broken, or cracked. I'm missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It is properly aligned and if a quarter of the leaf was missing, it would I would place this truck out of service. Then I'm gonna come right over here and do, and do my brake hose. And yes, we did all the hoses earlier, but you still have to talk about this brake hose. It's rubber, so it's not cut, frayed, dry rotted, or bulging. I hear and see no leaks. And then I'm gonna lean in and look at the rest of my brake system and say through all of my rest of my brake system, I have no brake contaminants. I have no brake contaminants. So that's all done. I'm gonna check off those uh, three boxes. Next tire rims and lug nuts so that's what i'm gonna do next we'll go to the tire a little bit we got to say first no uneven tread wear the tread depth is no less than 430 seconds and i'm gonna check that with a tire depth gauge side of my tire is rubber it's not cut frayed dry rotted or bulging it's filled to the proper level which is 100 psi i would check that with a tire gauge through the valve stem down here all right, the valve stem itself is not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Next is my rim. It's not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. No holes or wells other than factory. Then I will finish up with my lug nuts and studs. They're not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. See no signs of running rust that would indicate a loose lug nut. All right, so now we go back to our list. That list is crucial. All right, I'm going to check off those boxes, tires, rims, and lug nuts. All right, next on my list will be lenses, reflectors. All right, so I catch some on this side. Right here, that's my turn signal. That's my turn signal here. All right, um, it's not chip cracked or broken, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws, amber in color see no signs of condensation I, I got my headlight when I said just say it plural when I covered that other one I just don't want to say headlight I say headlights that covers that all right um next up we don't have any reflective tape here so we're good to go uh the next thing I want to move toward is traffic monitoring devices that on the outside is going to be your mirrors on the door and on the hood, they're not chipped, cracked or broken, not missing nuts, bolts or screws, and they're clean and clear. All right, so I need to mark that off my list. I did not mark off reflectors just yet because I got some further down. Next up, we're going to do the battery and battery box. It says it right there, battery. All right, so you want to cover your battery and battery box. On our truck, it's accessible, so we're going to have to unlatch it and open it. Real easy to do. Pick it right on up, and you look inside. And you're going to say, my battery box and batteries are not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. I see no signs of co corrosion, and there's no electrical damage or exposed wires. Batteries, done. I'm going to check that right off my list. Go right back to my list, mark off batteries. Next up is fuel tank and def tank. Fuel tank and def tank is up next. All right, so let's let's cover that. Right here, this is my def tank. It's not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. The cap is secure. Here and see no leaks. Then we're gonna come over here to my fuel tank. My fuel tank is not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. The cap is secure. 
I hear and see no leaks. And then we got to call out our brackets. These are my fuel straps or fuel brackets, tank brackets. They're not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. I see no shiny metal that would indicate a loose or shifting tank. And that finishes up my gaff and my fuel tank. I'm going to mark that off. This list keeps you in order. Next up, frames. All right, so I'm going to go do my frame next. All right, so we'll do the truck frame first. Just point at it. All right, the truck frame is not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. I see no holes or wells other than factory and no broken wells. Then I'm going to come do my trailer frame next. Come on down and point up. Let's see, there we go. That's my trailer frame. It's not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. All right, I see no holes or wells up in the factory and no broken wells. All right, that's my frames. I'm gonna mark that off my list so I can continue on. Frames marked off the list. Still got a blank there for lenses and reflectors. I'll get to it in a second. Next up, I'm gonna do my air and electrical lines. Air and electrical lines. All right, we'll start right here with my airlines. They're metal. They're not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Firmly attached to the tractor. As I follow them, they turn to rubber or plastic. They're not cut, frayed, dry, rotted, or bulging. As I continue to follow them, it runs into the glad hands. The glad hands are not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Inside the glad hands are rubber grommets. They're not cut, frayed, dry, rotted, or bulging. Through all my airlines, I hear and see no leaks. I'm going to move right to my electrical line. It's not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It's firmly attached to the tractor. The line itself is not cut, frayed, dry rotted, or burnt. We switch out bulging for burnt for our electrical line. Also, I see no electrical damage and no exposed wires. My electrical box up here is not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It is firmly seated and locked in place. That takes care of my air and electrical lines. That's right, back to the list. And we're gonna mark that off. All right, air and electrical lines, done. All right, at this time I am gonna catch, as I move on down, the reflectors here. Also known as your DOT tape. My DOT tape is not chip cracked or peeling, and it runs the length of the trailer. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that. Next on my list is the fifth wheel. So we're going to go through the fifth wheel and all its components. Let's go underneath. Up top here, this is called the apron. And then that piece right there, there we go, is the deck plate or skid plate. Apron up top, deck plate, skid plate right there. They're both not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. I see no signs of daylight, and, ooh, and there's no space in between the apron and the deck plate. Coming straight down, that triangle piece right underneath it that the deck plate's sitting on is called a platform. It's not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. There are no welds other than factory, and these mounting bolts here are in place. Next up. Come over here, you can see it a little better. This is my release handle. It's not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. And it's in the locked position. Next up is my sliding fifth wheel deck rail. It's not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Right here, it has one, one, two, three locking pins. They are in the lock position. They are also in the proper position. So the rear of the tractor, right here, does not come in contact with the landing gear in turns. That's very important that you say that. Now, I'm going underneath to check my kingpin and locking jaws. All right. Right in here is my kingpin and locking jaws. They're both not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. The locking jaws are locked around the kingpin shank and not the head. Then, I'm going to come right here to these tail lights. They're not chip cracked or broken. I'm missing nuts, bolts, or screws. They are red in color. I see no signs of condensation. 
and I can come on from underneath the trailer. Alright, I'm going to go mark off that because I'm all done with the fifth wheel. So that's the kingpin. Alright, next up, and that was also the locking and safety devices. Next up is landing gear, and we already did clearance. Clearance was when I said that the rear of the tractor won't come in contact with the landing gear and turn. So next up is the landing gear. Landing gear is right here. It's not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. The feet are fully raised. There is no debris on the feet and the crank handle is in the stowed position. I can now mark that off. Also, I can mark off reflective tape for the trailer only right there. I got it a little early, but no biggie. All right, as I walk back, I'm gonna stop here at my turn signal marker light. It's not chip cracked or broken, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Amber in color, no signs of condensation. Continue on down. This is my ABS light. It's not chip cracked or broken, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Amber in color, no signs of condensation. This is my marker light. I'm gonna put it together with my brake lights. If you look all the way up top, in the corner is a clearance light, and the three in the middle are ID lights. They're all red in color, not chip cracked or broken, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Uh, the red in color, and I see no signs of condensation. And then, if you look back here, I have DOT tape there, and across my DOT bumper, my DOT tape here is not chip cracked or peeling. All right, that concludes the pre-trip. Uh, it is very different, uh, but we've had great success with it. All of our students, since the change, have passed their pre-trip first time around. So, remember, the only thing that can hang you up is that air leakage test. Study, 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 and make sure you can say that air leakage test without being inside the truck. When you're driving down the road in your car, walk through that air leakage test. That's the big one. You get that done, you'll get the rest of it because we're going to practice every single day. It's going to be the first thing we do. All right, this concludes this video. I hope it will be a help to you. Uh, let me know. I'm sure I made a mistake somewhere, and students always point it out. Thank you for keeping me honest. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.